Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Saturday, the 5th of November, 2022. Uh, between 6 30 and 7 o'clock in the evening. It is 77 degrees Fahrenheit right now in northeast Florida. 82% humidity. It's going up. 25 degrees Celsius. So I have shown a num number of alcohol type burners, uh, little fireplaces and small heaters and etc. 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 There are various types of fuel. Two, uh, you can get methanol and mineral uh, or denatured alcohol. I prefer using alcohol, alcohol, like 91 proof. 91% isopropyl. You can also get gel fuels. Gel fuels are a little safer. They don't they don't splash or whatever. So, but that bottle is expensive. I'm going to show you how you can make your own gel fuel a whole lot cheaper. So hang on a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, so we just have a can here. It doesn't matter what you mix it up in. We have the 91% isopropyl alcohol and DE, diatomaceous earth. You can get this from swimming pool places. Uh, I got this from my daughter. She uses it. Um, this one, this one's actually edible. <laughs> Why? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but anyway, we'll just take some of this and put it in here. Hopefully we can see what's going on in there. Can we see what's going on in there? Yeah, it looks like it. That looks like enough for now. We'll probably go ahead and fill that up. Well, I am making a mess with that. This bottle's kind of new. Now I've added too much. Basically you just mix it up. Try not to throw it all over the place. Go ahead and add some more DE. Basically, you want like a pancake consistency, maybe a maybe a biscuit consistency. That's looking pretty good right there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and clean this off. Of any mess that I made. Let's 
burns off quick. Which is a good thing. Alright. Now we'll go ahead and put a little clump of that down there. You can seal this up and save it for later. Just let this burn out. Could put. Whoops. <laughs> Got it just as it was burning out. Is that all it? Guess not. And the thing is, when it burns down, it leaves the diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is really just very very tiny seashells I mean that's kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for minimizing it to, to the extreme um, but that's basically all it is it's, it's the remains of sea creatures from eons ago but it doesn't burn by itself it's just a just a medium I think I'm going to find a small jar to keep this in just because Yeah, I don't have any full jars left. <laughs> uh, all 
Alright, this is one of those bacon jelly jars from Dollar Tree. See how much we can fit in there. Quite a bit, it would seem. clean out that can we'll just go poof I would imagine this would work very well as a quick burner we'll try that at another date For now, I'm going to push this back out of the way, and we'll change this camera view. All right, then, folks, there you go. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. You want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram? I'll get links in the description box wherever that is on your device of choice. I also put links to similar videos. You'll find my email, my snail mail, all that good stuff. So, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I'll see y'all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slanchy, y'all. Ah, uh, bye-bye.